Police still have not released uh, any further details in that wild shootout from Wednesday night in East Baltimore. All right, here's what we know. The officer was shot. The suspect was killed. But WMAR 2 News investigative reporter Brian Kubler tells us about the other person injured in that shooting, a 51-year-old woman who happened to be stopped at a red light right there on Fayette and her sister says struck by in the crossfire. Jamie, the family of Ray Meyer tells us she was shot twice and needed five hours of surgery Wednesday night, caught in that barrage of bullets while simply sitting at a stoplight. The last time Gilda Fry saw her older sister Wednesday night, they were leaving a dinner at the Horseshoe Casino restaurant where they were celebrating a good third quarter for their small family business. Ray Meyer, or Jeannie as they call her, headed home to Highland Town, her sister Gilda told us. But then, for the following 12 hours, her family would have no idea where she went. <laughs> she was here, at the corner of Fayette and Caroline, at the stoplight. That's her white Ford Focus there next to the fire engine when... <laughs> Gilda says her sister heard three pops, then noticed the blood. She was, felt pain and looked down and she saw blood. She looked up, couldn't go anywhere. There, there were empty police cars blocking her, um, people running along the side. She said she did see um, some of the policemen get out of the cars and run. With nowhere to go, Gilda says her sister drifted the car forward to get the firefighters' attention. They ended up treating the 51-year-old and getting her to Hopkins. Doctors there tell Meyer's family she was shot in the right hand and the chest, in addition to a large wound on her neck. Gilda says her sister went through five hours of surgery, all while her family was feverishly trying to locate her, not knowing she was the bystander caught in the middle of the shootout. They knew nothing until they started calling hospitals the next morning. It made that long 12 hours with her missing so much worse at the end because we, she was in surgery and we didn't know. Um, if she was going to make it or what, we, we had no information. Even as police clearly considered her white Ford Focus part of the investigation, the only thing said about Meyer's involvement came from the commissioner that night. We can say that at the corner of Fayette and Caroline, there was a, a female civilian who was at that corner that we believe was injured. We do not know if it was by gunfire or shrap metal or broken glass, but it's being treated at the hospital and we believe is also in good condition right now. But Fries says her sister was not good, shot twice and endured hours of surgery. Meyer's family now demanding an apology or at the very least, an explanation. I would like them to acknowledge that they're downplaying how badly and poorly they handled this situation, how reckless it was. Um, there was just no, no, um, logical reason for all of these men to run and drive firing in such a manner. Now, at last check, Meyer is listed in fair condition at Hopkins. Her family still spending overnights with her in the hospital. For the police department's part, it had no update on the shooting today and would not comment on this story. BPD saying it is still combing through all the evidence of what happened before addressing the media.